Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from navigationtrading.com. In this video, I wanna show you how to calculate your profit or loss if you get assigned on a position. So last week on 418, we had a short call vertical spread in DIA. We held the trade all the way up till the last trading day before expiration, and it was well in the money, and so we ended up getting assigned. Now this doesn't happen very often, in fact, this was the first assignment we've had in our trade alerts portfolio. So, you know, it's been over two years, uh, but assignment does happen. And so if you ever do get assigned, I want you to be able to refer back to this video to kind of help walk you through so you can calculate the profit or loss. Okay, so just like any other options trade, when you're a net seller of options, you're always going to add up the credits and then subtract the debit, and that's gonna give you your profit or loss, okay? So that's what exactly what we're gonna do here. There are just a few little things that you need to be aware of because it's a little bit different when you get assigned. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up a little scratch pad here so I can notate on it. But the first thing that we did on 3.8, we rolled a short call vertical uh, when we simply just rolled our strikes down, same expiration cycle. And so don't pay attention to this overall credit of $1.64 here because we already counted for that on our trade tracker. All we're going to focus on is the position that we entered on that date. It's just the 255, 260 call spread. Okay, so the ones we sold, we collected 415. The ones we were long, net of two. So the net between those two is $2.15. Okay, so... On our initial credit, we got 215 uh, times three contracts equals 6.45. And then times 100 because each contract controls 100 shares of stock. So that equals $645 because we want to convert all of these into a specific dollar amount because we were actually assigned stock or in this case, short stock. Okay, so our initial credit is $645. And then we were assigned on the 255 calls, okay, so that you take that 255 times three contracts, and that equals, pull up my calculator here, so 255 times three equals 765 times 100 equals 76,500. Okay, that's the actual dollar amount that we got. You can see that right here, okay? So $76,500 for that assignment of a short 300 DIA calls. And so we got we were short 300 DIA calls, okay? So that's a credit of 76,500. Then we also had the remaining 260 long calls, okay? Which we ended up selling for $5.55. So we take the 260, 260 long calls, and we actually, so we sold them for $5.55, okay? Times three equals 1,000, make sure I got my math in my head correct. Let's just do it here, 5.55 times three equals 1665 times 100. So that equals $1,665, right? So these are all the credits that we received, okay? So let's add these together. So we've got $645 plus $76,500 plus $1,665 equals, okay? So our total credits, now that we've taken in, equal 78810 now, what we did is we bought back our one debit in this transaction is we bought back those 300 short shares. So if we take 300, it's actually minus 300, just to be correct, uh, shares, that equals, and you can see right here on the platform, we bought those back. And my, my order actually got filled in two different orders. So we bought 100 and we bought 200. Got filled at the exact same price. It just filled us separately. And so for a total of, so we got to add those together. So we've got 26,560.9 plus 
53,121.8 equals, okay, so that's 79,000, 79,682.7, that's a negative. Okay, so that's what we that's what we bought those back for. So then you just take your total credits, seventy eight thousand eight ten minus your total debits. Okay, so let's do this: seventy eight thousand eight one zero minus seventy nine thousand six eighty two point seventy, and that equals eight seventy two seventy. So our total loss on that trade was $872.70. Okay, so that's how you do it. It's just like anything else. You got to take all the credits. You get to subtract the debit. And so we took a loss on that trade. Uh, we ended up just closing it out because we didn't want to carry short shares in our account. And so that is how you calculate it. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, you want to see what we're doing here at Navigation Trading, just go to navigationtrading.com. See you there.